Welcome to Movie Class by Pizza Flicks. Please stay tuned for today's program, but first, some tasty tidbits from your host. Marlon Brando will generally be in the forefront in any conversation of the naturalistic acting style known as the method. But another actor was the catalyst for Brando, Montgomery Cliff, Paul Newman, and James Dean. A name that is sadly lost in the dust of time. John Garfield. He came of age on the tough streets in the Bronx in the Lower East Side of New York City. By the 1930s, his interest turned towards acting, and Garfield joined a collective of thespians and playwrights known as the Group Theater. It was co-founded by the father of method acting, Lee Strasberg. He made his big screen debut in 1938's Four Daughters. His brooding performance earned rave reviews and an Oscar nomination. By the mid-40s, Garfield became one of Hollywood's most lucrative stars with back-to-back -back hits The Postman Rings Twice, Humoresque, and Body and Soul, nominated for four Oscars including Garfield for Best Actor. Then came the darkest period in the history of American cinema, the Hollywood blacklist. But it wasn't his politics that did him in. The FBI and the House of Un-American Activities hounded Garfield for six years and found nothing. He was a proud American, his life an open book. It was integrity. Lesser men crumbled when presented with the choice to name names and save their careers. Not him. He wasn't a rat. He was John Garfield. Estranged from his wife and children, shunned by Hollywood, unemployed for 18 months, his body filled with intense sadness, grief, and rage. On May 21st, 1952, age 39, John Garfield died of a broken heart. And now, our feature presentation. Released January 28, 1939, watched John Garfield in his second film and first starring role, along with Claude Rains, Anne Sheridan, and the Dead End Kids.
I guess we're all glad it's back in the good old USA where it belongs. I guess that's all. <laughs> Great fight, Johnny. You're a world's champion. Congratulations, Doc. Thank you, Ernest. Yeah, over there. And he never fought again. <laughs> oh, hello, Phelan. Got it? Got a surprise for you, champ. Hmm? What's this, my birthday or something? You remember this? My watch. Gee, I'm glad you found it. Mom gave it to me, saved up all year for my household money for it. <laughs> Mother's Day again. <laughs> yeah, we picked it up at the 6th Avenue Hawk Shop. We got the guy that lifted it, too. You know, this watch means more to me than that diamond belt I won tonight. Nice work. It wasn't me, it was Brewster. They just sent me up with it. Yeah, you see, Phelan's too busy down at the morgue trying to keep the stiffs from escaping to make a pinch. <laughs> Isn't that right, Monty? If you say so, Inspector, it must be right. <laughs> well, let Doc know who the guy is, and he'll be well taken care of. Do you mind strapping this on like a good fella? You know, now, no pockets in this suit. No, the other wrist. Sure, that's right, the other wrist. I should know, and you being a southpaw. Uh, first hole. You bet. First hole. Say, it's some wrist you got there. Yeah, I guess I got plenty wrist there. Say, I was at the fight tonight. You sure got a funny way of handing yourself in there, <laughs> left-handed like that with your right stuck out? <laughs> That's the first thing one notices about a man, his stance, more on his face. You know, a lot of people look alike. No two people ever stand just the same way. That's a great theory you got there, Phelan. Is that how you identified Barney Schofield? Yes, Inspector. You'd better get along back to the morgue. Those deadens may start trouble if you leave them alone too long. Okay, Inspector. A new one you're riding? New one? Well, he's been with the department ever since I have. Only he's on morgue detail when I'm an inspector. Funny thing, he somehow got the idea he was a great detective. Made all kinds of pinches. Till one day he made the wrong one. Talking about Phelan? Yeah, remember him putting the finger on Barney Schofield? And finding out he was wrong after that burned Schofield in the chair. No fooling. He did that? All right, Johnny. Let me know when you're ready to go. We've got a police escort outside for you. Okay, Inspector. And thanks for everything. So long. There you are, Mr. Champ, and you can carry away the bus. Wrap it up. Here's more of your public. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Great fight, boy. Oh, thanks a lot. I gotta be running away now. There's a gang of newsies waiting outside for a feed. I promised them after the fight, so... All right. Well, 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 there's a grand guy. Wins the championship, and the first thing he thinks about is the newsies. Well, well poor old gray-haired mother. Emmy's for the million things she gave me. You think that's oh, funny, don't you? Lay off, Johnny. He's canned. Oh, don't get sore. I didn't mean anything. Okay. Just because a guy doesn't drink and fool around with women and respects his mother, you don't have to make a monkey out of him. No, no, no. No, don't pay any attention to him, Johnny. The rest of us think you're okay. You sure yeah, do. Good night. Good night. So, Johnny. There goes one grand guy. Am I right or am I right? You're one right. grand guy. Tonight, youth was served again when young Johnny Bradfield won the lightweight championship of the world in the seventh round of a scheduled 15-round battle. Johnny fights like a real champion while his right jabs with lightning precision his left is packed with dynamite. Red sure, dynamite, I'd say. Spectacular. But most of all, it has been... How about it, Doc, huh? America, sportsmanship and decent conduct. Yeah. Live at home with mother and stay away from booze and women is the new champ's formula. Says you. But he's right about the women, isn't he, Johnny? No women in the champ's life. Just little Goldie. Yeah. Well, Doc, you sore because you ain't got a girl? <laughs> no, I ain't sore. Come on, pour us a drink. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, and fix one for me, too, Doc. Well, you got a drink. Well, give me some more. I want music. Come on, <laughs> cheer up, Doc. You're my manager, ain't you? We won the championship, didn't we? We're right up there in the money. You're going to have a lot of dames. Yeah, here. Now I've got something. Come on, come on, get up. Let's, let's dance. Come on, well, get well, up. Let's let's drink. Drink. No, you don't have to finish that. Come on, let's dance, dance, dance. Oh, that's 
enough. Now, come on, dance. Oh, don't, don't stand me. No. Dance. Look out. <laughs> oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not got Johnny Bradfield. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Now, who's that? Maybe it's Budgie. I told her to come up. Oh, what do you want to do that for? Don't be that way, baby. She's not going to study. Well, darling, here we are. Oh, so good. <laughs> Jenny, is that for me? Well, that's straight right. Whoa, I can take it. <laughs> I told you I could take it, see? Hey, why don't girls be prize fighters? Does anyone around here want to fight, huh? Hey, jo Johnny. Johnny, hey, you want to fight with me? Hey, Johnny, come on, show me how to fight. Come on, look at that left of mine. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? How about you? you? <laughs> but you want to do it Oh, shut up. Jam them wide open. <laughs> oh, will you cut it out? Ooh, the jam can't take it. Pipe down, will you, Budgie? You wake Mr. Redfield's mother. She's a sound sleeper. Sure, she's a sound sleeper. She's a sleep slander. Why don't you go home? Oh, Johnny, don't be like that. Budgie was only kidding, weren't you, honey? Well, I don't like that kind of kidding. She's slug nutty. Listen, you can't talk that way to my friends. Friends, nothing. Nobody's got any friends. Come on, honey, Give me another drink. What do you mean, nobody's got friends? Ain't I your friend? Yeah, you're my friend. For 50 percent, you're my friend. That ain't right. Yeah, you're my friend now, because I'm up. But you ain't fooling me. You take my role, my watch, and my girl if you thought you could get away with it. If you were sober, you wouldn't talk like that. Ah, go on. It's a sucker's game. You mean the fight racket? I mean breathing, living. Nobody does anything unless there's something in it. If you do, you're a sucker. Except your mother, huh? <laughs> That's a laugh. My mother, my dear old mother. I haven't got a mother. That gray haired old lady stuff is just a line. <laughs> a line for suckers. <laughs> well, it's a good line at that. Sure it is. So is the one about booze and women. Well, I've lapped up more booze and ran around with more women. And the mother angle, why, there just ain't any. <laughs> Can you tie that? Johnny Bradfield ain't got a mother. She was just a prop to catch suckers. <laughs> well, there's a story for your paper, Charlie. Huh? Yeah, sure. What's that? What'd she say? She said plenty that monk's a reporter. Reporter? Hey, can't you take a joke, Johnny? That's right, the morning graphic. You wouldn't print what Johnny just said in your paper, would you? Oh, wouldn't I? Can you think of a better story? Well, so long, folks, and thanks. Just a minute, McKee. You're gonna stick around a while. Oh, yeah? Wait, yeah, Johnny. James, go out of your nose. Wait, you wouldn't do anything. Not just we have to, scram. Listen, McGee, you ain't gonna print that. I'd be a sucker if I didn't. Now, I'd be a sucker if I didn't take a poke at you, and that goes for every time I see you. Just a minute, McGee, you're not leaving yet. Oh. Oh. What goes on out here? Johnny! Johnny, are you hurt? No, oh, he's all right. Joey! Joey, what have I done for you? Joey! Joey! Are you all right? Holy. What? Nothing. He's dead. He's dead! <laughs> What'd you do that for? She had it coming to her. Come on, let's blow. We can't, Johnny's out cold. We gotta. Get your ramps. Come on, help me get him out of here. Well, where are we going? Up to Mackey's. There's nobody there. Come on, grab those hats and coat. All right. Get in there first. Go ahead, grab his arm. Try to make a sucker out of me. Come to yet? No, he's still dead in the world. Well, let's get him in the house. Have a shot. Thanks. You'll need it before the night's over. What do you mean? We gotta scram out of here and quick. No, I'm gonna stick. I got a stick. All right, you stick. It's all the thanks you'll get. Doc, are you sure he did it? I'm telling you, you socked him with that left of his. 
And when he doesn't go down, he hits him a terrific wallop over the head with a whiskey bottle. And then the guy goes down and conks himself out for keeps. Boom. The whiskey bottle? That don't sound like Johnny. You tell me he's a killer when he's drunk. There's no telling what that dame will do when she wakes up. We'll all be in it. You and me, too. Well, we didn't do anything. Yeah, well, we were there, weren't we? You think he's going to say we didn't do anything? You think he's going to take the rap while we walk out? But we didn't do anything. Oh, shut up. You said that once. I'm explaining to you, ain't I? It ain't did you do anything, it's can you prove it. Can you prove you didn't do nothing? But Johnny wouldn't say anything. No. He'd go to the chair for you, wouldn't he? You just heard him say he's no sucker. We gotta stick together. You and me, kid. He said you'd take his roll and his watch. Yeah, and his gal. I'm no sucker either. Come on. Uh, uh, oh! Doc, Doc, I'm scared. I'm scared stiff. There's nothing to be scared about, honey. We'll be across the border like that. And we'll hide out under cover this whole thing blows over. Come on. License number 2A-1243. Look for Johnny Bradfield. Possibly traveling with manager Doc Wood and his girl Goldie West. Reporter killed in his apartment. Doc, they're after us. Don't let them get us, Doc. It's all right, baby. I won't. I won't. Pick up gray convertible Theoden. License number 2A-1243. you were dead. No, I ain't dead. What are you talking that way for? You killed this man, McGee. I didn't kill him. Listen, what are you doing here, then? I want to ask you what all this is about, saying I'm dead. The wristwatch. Yeah, I know. I can read. I read about it in the papers, too. He stole my watch, my girl, and my car. Yeah, serves him right. I'm sorry about Goldie. 
She was okay. She wouldn't have double-crossed me. It was him. Listen, do you know that you're guilty of the murder of this newspaper man? What are you talking that way for? I started to hit him, and then I don't remember. You started to hit him, and he's dead. And he a newspaper man. You're as good as dead. What are you talking that way for? You're as good as dead. What are you... Officially, you're dead. You're the guy that burned up in the car. You came to me for advice. This is my advice. Stay dead. Let Johnny Bradfield stay dead. You be somebody else. Be uh, Jack... Uh, Jack Dorney. Now get out of New York. Yeah. Yeah. But I... I need some money. I got ten grand in the National Trust Bank. You can't go to the bank. Don't you understand? It's in a vault. All I have to do is open the box. I got the key right on me. Nobody will see me. Nobody will see you. Well, let me have the key. I'll get it for you. Would you do that? Why, sure. Here. Go to this address. Stay there until you hear from me. Keep out of sight. I haven't any money. I haven't got a cent. Well, here. Here's ten dollars. Well, what am I going to do with ten dollars? Well, what do you think? You're not going to nightclubs. Okay. And when will I hear from you? Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. This is the address. Yeah. Now, don't be seen by anybody. I get you. If you're seen, you'll be tried for murder. Don't talk that way, will you? Grow a beard. Do something to change your appearance. Okay. I'll do something. I didn't figure that I... find the death of John Bradfield and Goldie West due to accidental causes while evading arrest for the murder of Charles McGee. Well, the papers can't squawk this time. A guy is murdered. And six hours later, we not only discover who committed the crime, but we also know that he's dead. Can you imagine the howl if this hadn't happened? Killing a reporter is one thing the papers won't stand for. Well, well that's that. Can I see him, in, Inspector? Sure. Got a clue on the McGee murder? <laughs> That's it, exactly. I don't think the guy that burned up was Johnny Bradfield at all. Oh, you're nuts. Remember me putting that watch on his right hand? Well, the guy they brought in had that watch on all right, but it was on his left hand. So what? Can't a guy change his watch from his right wrist to his left for the love of Mike? Well, there are some things a guy always does the same way, like the side he starts to shave on in the morning and the way he starts to dress. The same thing with a wristwatch. Now, Phelan, you've been hanging around stiff so much, you're seeing things. That's what, seeing things. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you another thing. That watch was in the third hole. When I strapped it on Johnny Bradfield's wrist, I put it in the first hole. You heard him tell me to do it himself. So, one wrist is bigger than the other. Didn't you ever hear of that? Maybe. All I ask is that you reopen the case and assign me. Reopen the case? Now get this, Phelan. Johnny Bradfield murdered McGee. And it was Johnny Bradfield who burned up on the highway this morning at 5 a.m. Now listen, Chief. Listen to who? The trouble with you, Phelan, is that ever since you railroaded the wrong guy to the hot seat, you've been seeing things. You're screwy. Why don't you retire? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not through. Oh, yes, you are, but you don't know it. I'll show you if I'm through. Yeah? How? I'll prove that guy they brought in isn't Johnny Bradfield. You will, huh? Let me try. You're afraid to. Oh, me? Yes, you. For ten years you've been picking on me just because I made a mistake. Well, maybe this is your mistake. Maybe if I prove it, they'll put you on more detail like you did me. I'd love to see it. All right, Phelan. You've got yourself an assignment. Thank you, Inspector. Now bring him back, dead or alive. <laughs> what did I tell you, fellas? He's cuckoo. Yes, just plain cuckoo. I've been calling you for two days. I've been busy. I want to get out of here. You got my money? Yes, I got your money. Right here. There's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. What's this? That's yours. What do you mean, that's mine? Now, if I were you, I'd put as much distance between myself and this city. Where's my money? Where's my 10 grand? The 250 is yours. The rest of it is my fee. What do you mean? Where's the rest of my 10 grand? I've explained it to you. It's my fee. What are you trying to do? Make a sucker out of me? What do you think I am? You hand over the rest of that ten grand or I'll... Or you'll what? Well, you'll go to the chair. Now listen to me and I'll give you some advice. Don't use your fists or you're cooked. If you take that cockeyed stance of yours with your right stuck out and your left pull way back, someone's going to spot you. What you don't seem to understand, Dorney... What? Jack Dorney. Remember that? Jack Dorney. Think you can remember that? Jack Dorney. What I started to say, Dorney... Dorney. Don't take that cockeyed stance of yours. Don't use your fists at all. Not at all. You'll be killing some other man. Or if you don't, you'll give yourself away. You'll give yourself away. Once they get you, your life isn't worth... 
But do as I say, Jack Dorney. Stay away from places. Stay away from all places. Out of sight. Afraid. From now on, you've got to be afraid. Get me? Yeah. Yeah. I get you. That's my advice, and it's worth ten grand. Here. Now beat him, sucker. What can I do with this? Two hundred and fifty dollars? I want to see you a long way. And what do you want more for? You don't want to use any train with us people. You don't want to use an automobile. You go hop afraid so it won't cost you anything and keep the money for food. That ought to last you at least six months. That's why you're wrong, buddy. That's my money, not your money. Hey, wait. Oh, well, take it easy, Bill. Oh, shut up. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Nothing. Take a walk. Swell, huh? Just another city slicker on the mooch. What do you think? Hey, what's the idea? Look, you're... we got company. But, hey, where, where's the no, dame? Dame, you know. You cut it up. You pick it up. I wonder if there's a chance to yes, get. Yes, there's a big chance. There's a ladder back there and some baskets and some dates. And after you pick three basketfuls, you get a handout. Well, I'm no tramp. Ha <laughs> ha. I know you're a big oil man, and you came all the way down here to study about anticlines. I suppose you have a limousine parked down the road. Suppose I told you I did have a limousine. Two of them. Look, I know all the routines, but if you want to eat, you got to pick. I got a hunch I wouldn't care for the meals here anyway. It's all right with me. You know, the Waldorf's right around the corner. You ought to try the caviar. Thanks. I'm a sucker for caviar. Oh, 
Peter. Well, come on, get him out of here. We don't want him. Now look out, he's staggering in the middle. Come on. Now get out. Is that you, Goldie? No, it isn't Goldie. Where am I? Where's Doc? Take it easy, pal. I want to know. Well, you're at Rancho Rafferty, about 20 miles from Kalinga, Arizona, if that means anything to you. Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I, I get it. Uh, I must have taken the count. Long count, I'd say. You've been out for two days. Well, where was I hit? In the stomach. I don't think you've eaten for a week. Here. Oh, what's that? It's milk. You ever hear of it? Milk? <laughs> sure, sure. Well, they make umbrella handles out of it. No. Nice and quiet around here, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, nobody much around? No, nope, just me and Grandma and the kids. What do you do with yourself all day? Ranch. I don't get it. You're not the kind that... Uh, no. You don't look like the rancher's daughter to me. Look, suppose you tell me about yourself. All right. Listen, you do that again and you'll be out for a week. I told you once I wasn't Goldie. You can't arrest me for trying. Well... Here we are. Back in. Hello, Sheriff. How have you been? All right, I guess. That's good. Oh, so this is the young fellow that passed out on you, huh? Ah, uh, Sheriff. This is the boy, all right. Where are you from, boy? Uh, uh, Texas. I've been cutting down there. Throats? <laughs> no, 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 beef. Got any folks around here? No, no, no. Uh, my folks are back in Texas. Uh, I've been just looking for work until things pick up down there. Oh, I'll leave the boy alone, Sheriff. He's been out of his head for two days. Sure, sure, it's all right. I'll be on my way now. Just want to stop in and see about the kids. I got to make my report to the board, you know. Ah, uh, not they care about it. Hey, Sheriff, how's about me getting a picture of you, huh? My picture? Why not? Okay, I'll hear what it's like. <laughs> That's a likely looking young fella. Yeah, he's likely to get out of here as soon as he can walk. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking out on the job. No How you way, Peter. Hey, Grandma, Peggy. Uh, shut up, you. Why, you big... Wait a minute, you plunker. Put up your dudes. Are you ready to kill her? You'll really get hurt. A fine thing to be hit in the little bit of a boy half your size. For two pins, I boxed the sassy years. Oh, I... I just touched him. Can't a guy take a walk without some kid firing off a 21-gun salute? Oh, so you were running away without saying a word to anybody. Well, you don't want me to hang around here forever, do you? I told you I was looking for work. Well, it's 20 miles to the nearest town. Oh, why don't you let him go? The sheriff has a place for hobos. I tell you, I'm looking for work. They can't do nothing to a man for that. You talk like I was a criminal. See here, if it's only work you're looking for, you know there's plenty of that hanging around here. I get it. You kept me a couple of days, now you want me to work it off, huh? For what else would I be asking a great on, big Jack, lazy lummox of a face like yours Come to be on. standing around here? Well, what do you want me to do? Well, till you get a bit of color into that face of yours, you can sit around in the sun and, and amuse the kids. Ah. Amuse the kids? <laughs> We're not amused. Hey, you're up in New York, ain't you? Yeah, uh, I've been there. Boy, do I miss that East Rip? Yeah, and that reform school you was going to. I guess you missed that too, huh? 
Ah, uh, reform school ain't so bad. Me brother's been up there twice. He don't get out till he's 21. Yeah, he got a lease on a joint. Uh, just what is the setup here? Oh, we got too hot in New York, so they set us out here to reform us. Yeah? Who did? Father Rafferty. Did you ever hear of him? He was never in my church. Mine neither. Well, anyhow, he was a priest down on the east side, see? Till he died about a year ago. He got up that Help Thy Neighbor fund to send tough kids out to his sister. That's the old lady. And what for? To get the generated. Regenerated, you dope. Regenerated. That means reformed. A reformed school for kids, huh? Yeah, but they ain't gonna regenerate me, because I'm going back to the east side. How you going, by Pullman? You're gonna take a special airplane. I'm gonna tour back, Joe. I'm gonna tour back, like him. Ah, uh, you ain't got the knife. You ain't got the knife. Hey, uh, who's the dame? Oh, that's Tommy's sister. Yeah? What'd she do? She didn't do nothing. She's supposed to watch Tommy get degenerated. Regenerated? Oh, cut it out. Yeah, the judge would have sent Tommy to reform school if she hadn't promised to play copper to him. Until he gets degenerated. Ah, shut up! Hey, what are you trying to do, murder me? No, only cut your throat. <laughs> you know, Tommy's a pretty tough guy. They caught him robbing a warehouse. They got me for slashing tires on Cherry Street in a parking car rack. You got a match? Well, what do you got there? Oh, the corn soap butt. You want one? Oh. Well, one of you kids wouldn't know where a guy can get some real butts, would you? Yeah, they sell them over at the stand. Yeah? Well, what's the use of smoking grass when you can help yourself? Nah, we wouldn't steal nothing around here. No stealing yeah, for me. I we'll thought you them. kids were tough. Wait a minute. What about you, afraid to? Afraid? Hmm. I ain't afraid of nothing. Who can take my line, that's all. Leave him alone. Wait a minute. I dare you to get me some. Oh, dare, dare. You gotta take a dare. Ah. Hey, you gotta take a dare. Tell me you could take a dare. Hey, can I have a drink? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get one for you. Here. Oh, thanks. Boy, I just hit the spot. You get him, kid? Yeah, here you are. Nice work. Yeah. Thanks. Very nice work. Getting kids to steal for you. If there's anything lower than that, I haven't met it yet. Come on, Fox. Go on. Come on, Fox. Go on. 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 What's the matter with you? Ah, look at you. Go on, fight, fight, fight. Come on, go on, fight. Come on, go ahead, fight. Come oh, on, knock it down. Yeah, yeah, One guy can knock down. Come, come on. Foul, foul, foul. What do I do? Shut up. Hey, you saw it, didn't you? We didn't see nothing. Sure, it was a foul. They can't put nothing over on me. As long as the referee sees you, it's a foul. Sure, I know my Marquise of Queenberry rolled. Marquise. I cut it out, you... You're gonna be smart. You do it in the end fight. Come here, I'll show you. Here, Tommy, stand up there. See, you're leading with your right. Yeah. And you move in like that. Okay. While you're turning your right around, you fake a left hook. Mm -hmm. And you jab him in the guts with your left oh. elbow. Oh! See? Yeah, but that ain't fair. Of course it ain't, if the referee sees you. The trick is to get the other guy between you and the referee so he won't see you. Come on, Jack, let's box, huh? Ah, I don't know anything about it. Oh, I says you. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Jack, get him on the yard. What's that? Whoa, right, that guy, Whoa. What's that? Right, oh, boy. Uh, that guy's yeah. really a... Hey, 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 don't you ever do that again, see? What's eating you? Never mind, but lay off with that camera. Okay, okay. Getting sore about it, Jack. Jack? Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, Jack. Give us some more. Come on, Jack. 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 Come on, Jack.
Now, look, if he can't get the stand on his feet, give him the thumb in the eye, like this. Oh, I get it. Only harder and quicker, but make sure you got the other guy between you and the referee. Okay, kids, beat it, beat it, beat it. Gee whiz, Peggy, you're always butting in. I want you to leave us men alone. Well, you sure can get in my hair. I was just teaching a kid how to take care of himself. Yeah, with dirty tricks. Well, somebody will pull him on him, and he might as well learn to pull him first. You don't believe anything's on the level, do you? Do you? I know you're not. Well, what about you? Well, what about me? You're playing probation officer, aren't you? So what? Getting dough for it? No. Ah, oh, give me that. I know all about that priest in New York. He's dead. Yeah? What about the fun? There isn't any fun. It stopped when he died. <laughs> you trying to tell me you and the old lady are supporting these kids on the cuff, huh? That's right. What for? You wouldn't understand. Ah, uh, you must have some angle. I wonder if you're as tough as you think you are. <laughs> I ain't so tough, but I ain't a sucker either. What do you call a sucker? Well, you're a sucker if what you tell me is true. So is that old lady. So is that dead priest. Why? Because he put out a helping hand? Help yourself is my slogan. And what does that get you? Well, a lot of things. Uh, thanks for the lesson. Type B-16. Single pump, 500-gallon fireproof tank. Uh, price, $1,938 in store. So what? Tommy's figuring and opening up a service station. Yeah, where at? Well, in front of the store. Tommy joined the Big Brother movement. Yeah, well, a fella's got a right to look out after his own sister, ain't he? Yeah, what's the matter with your sister? She was doing all right when I seen her last. She's plenty worried about the ranch. Only selling enough dates to pay for food and upkeep. We've been behind in taxes ever since money stopped coming from New York. I lose a place before, huh? Uh, who told you all this? That's all she and Grandma talk about. Yeah, I heard them too. So what? So we fold up the ranch and come back to New York. Boy, that'd be something. Now, there ain't a gas station on our road, 42 miles one way and 28 the other. About 200 cars a day pass our place during weekdays and twice as many on Sundays. I figured we could support the ranch on gas. Well, <laughs> it looks like he's the generator, all right. <laughs> What'd you say that gas station was gonna cost? Oh, about two grand. Well, what do you expect to use for money? He thinks he'll stick up a bank when he gets big enough. Well, <laughs> shut up, that oh, ain't funny. funny. Ah, it's too hot for pipe dreams. Uh, is that the tank you're talking about? Yeah, that's it, the East River of the West. Oh. Now listen, kids, get this. We went down the road several miles to that new date ranch where they're irrigating. We watched them for a while and sort of forgot about the time, see? Anybody that squeals, we went swimming, gets the works. Understood? Hey, right, check. Last one is a yellow dog. First one is a heel. Shut up, will you? One old man Henry to come around and chase us. Don't rush. We got all day. Boy, wait like getting that wolf. Whoa! Let's go! Boy, come this on, Daffy. Right. Boy, this is... Here I go! How's the water, Jack? It's the cat! Jack! Oh. Wait for me! The Olympic champ coming now. Great! Boy, here I come! Come on in. Oh, what are you scared of? Oh, I ain't scared. Hey, he's from 8th Avenue. None of them kids know how to swim. Who uh, don't know how to swim? I'll show you. Okay, Ted, up you go to. Oh, 
Shut up. What's the matter with you? I want to get him. Hey. You all right, Bobby? Of course you are. Come on. Hey, Jack, the water's running out. I know. Here, hold on, will you? Call me, come here. Hey, but you all angry. Uh, look, I'm going to go down and lift you by your ankles and lift you way up in the top and you grab hold of it, will you? Okay, let's go. Ready? Spit, are you sure you're telling me the truth? Cross my heart, honest pig, I don't know where they went. Well, didn't they say where they were going? They just took the truck and left. How long ago? About an hour. <laughs> it's down at ten feet and still falling. All we have to do is stick together. And wait till the water goes down, we can touch bottom. You getting tired? Yeah. Hey, Jack, the water stopped going down. Are you sure? Yeah, you keep going the same one. What do we do now? Hey! See what's at the bottom of this tank. Will you hold him for a few minutes? Yeah, I'll hold him. Well, let me go, John. Hey. There's a valve down there that lets the water out, but you gotta keep it open. I'll get down this time. Take the kit. Okay. Here I go. It's all right, Tommy. I think it's going down. Here, hold on, will you? I'm going to take a try. Oh, take it easy, kid. Take it easy. We can't find those guys. Yeah, we was all the way down the road, too. Grandma, they couldn't have taken the truck to town. Oh, well, don't worry, Peggy. If you think the truck broke down, they're all right. What's oh, a good idea. idea. Now, come on. Get up. Here oh, we go. Up. Up. Now, Tommy and Angel. Reach for that ladder and bring it down. Okay, guys. Come on. All right, kids. Hey, this guy's spouting water like a fountain. Keep his face down. This mopping up and down will do him good. Johnny, you think he, he's drowned, maybe? No, uh, no, he'll be all right. Now, listen, nobody talks, see? He got away from us, he fell in the water, and we fished him out. Get that? Yeah. Understand? Sure. Well, we haven't seen him since about 2 o'clock this afternoon. They left in the truck. Well, I don't know, Sheriff. I don't know where they went. What'd you say? Hey, look, here they come. Never mind, Sheriff. They just came in. Thanks. Where have you been? We took the truck and went way down to... I don't know where they was irrigating that new ranch. We stopped to watch them and... Uh... Yeah, and be, uh, before we knew it, it was getting dark, wasn't it, Angel? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're wet to the skin. Oh, get some towels, quick, and get a blanket. Come over to the stove and get warm. Well, what did you do to him? He uh, fell in an irrigation ditch. Yeah, sure. that's right. Did you all fall in the same irrigation ditch? Yeah, we uh, got wet fishing him out. Well, they've got telephones, you know. Now, where we was. I don't expect to get the truth out of you. Or out any of them while you're around. In fact, I think we have enough of you. Get out. It's okay with me. When do you want me to go? The sooner the better. I'll leave right now if that's how you feel about it. Hey, Peggy, you don't know what Shut he... up. Come on. 
Ah, it ain't right, I tell you it ain't. Ah, it's okay. There we was, caught like cats in a trap. You mean rats. I mean cats. You know, Jack, just like when you drop a bunch of kittens to drown in a bucket of water. Sure, that's right. There we was, on the drink of death. Drinks. Ah, oh, cut that out, will you? Every time you do that, you make me nervous all over. Think that's good for me? Well, anyway, in the water, it's drink of death. We'd all be dead ducks if it wasn't for Jack. Sure, of course, certainly. Why won't you let us tell her? Well, she'd say it was my fault for taking you. You haven't thought of taking anybody with you, have you? Who? Who do you mean, you? Well, lots of ranch help travel around in pairs like that. What about that gas station? Well, that can wait till I earn enough dough and come back. Uh, I'd like to take you, kid, but your sister would have the militia out after me for kidnapping. Well, I, I only thought that... Sure, Tommy. And I appreciate it. Button in again, huh? Haven't you caused enough trouble for one day? I'd like to talk to Jack. Alone. Okay, kids. Beat it. What's on your mind? Nothing, Johnny, except that... Well... Angel told me the truth about what happened this afternoon. I said I was sorry, or didn't I? I called you a heel, but I guess you're a hero. Is this a build-up for another sock on the nose? No, I think you're all right. Sure, I ain't a bad guy. I told you so before. I know, so did Grandma, but I didn't believe it'll now. You, uh, don't have to leave unless you want to. You know, there's only one reason I want to stay here. You. Do you want me to stay? Well, uh, that's that. Um, as long as you're all cleaned up and everything, would you like to drive me to town? I got some errands. It's a date. All right, then you grab yourself some supper and I'll change. Fifteen minutes. spot on the side of the road where no cars ever pass. Suppose we park and talk. What for? I'm crazy about you. Ain't that enough? Well, yeah, it's a lot, but it starts the wrong way. How the wrong way? I don't know anything about you or who you are except your name. And maybe it isn't your name. You sound like I was proposing marriage. What are you proposing? Oh, nothing like that. Oh. You're frank, anyway. Well, why don't you be frank, too? Do you want me to? Sure. All right. You're a nice-looking lad. Thank you, kindly. With a right home. Ah! The wrong head. Because I try to make love to you? No, nope. because you're trying to get away with murder. You know, I'm from the big city, too, and I've heard a lot of lines before. Oh, so it's up to me to think of a new line, huh? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't hurt. I'll think of one. I'll be waiting. Hi, Jack. Hi, Peggy. Hi, sweet. You get some gas. I'm going over to the hardware store to see Mr. Heyman on some business. Back in a minute. Right. Fill her up? Yeah, with the chief. Oh, why don't you get some good gas this time so you can try out my new pump? <laughs> if I ever try to put good gasoline in this jalopy, she'd probably explode. Say, I've got some swell new oil over there, if you can use any. Just came in. Yeah? How much? 30 cents. Uh, 30 cents. <laughs> That's too much. Hey, you gonna take that in? I hear he's good. Uh, if he were any good, he wouldn't be barnstorming in the sticks. Well, he must be pretty good if they're gonna give $500 to anybody that can stick with him. That's a lot of money. Yeah. I guess that is a lot of money, all right. Well, it's not enough to tempt me, though. No? Huh? Say, I wouldn't get in the ring with that big, ugly moose for $5,000 a round. Wild bull of Europe. <laughs> Looks like a killer to me. Hmm? Um, all set? Yeah, she took eight gallons. That's $1.28. Mm -hmm. Charge it. Say, Jack, <laughs> that bill's getting kind of high. How about a little on account? 
Oh, what are you squawking about? You get paid. Sometime. Okay. I guess I can do my bit for Peggy and the old lady. Things get better for them. It's a nice pump. Yeah, you do pretty good around here, don't you, Speed? Oh, I can't complain. That's one thing they can't save on. When they gotta have gas, they gotta have gas. Uh, what this pump set you back? About two grand? Just about. And say what a big improvement that is over this old hand pump. <laughs> Listen, I'm going across the street for a few minutes. If Peggy comes, tell I'll be right back, huh? All right. You're not big enough. You're too light. What's that got to do with it, if I'm willing? I'm not worrying about you. It's the customers. They don't pay dough to see setups, you know. I'll give that guy plenty of fight. Look. I'm having a fight, not a murder. Go on, scram, will you? I got a lot of work to do. Listen, I want a chance at that mug. Go on, scram. I'm busy. Keep your hands off of me or I'll clip you. Oh, you will. Come on, do I get that fight or don't I? Yeah. You get it. It'll be a pleasure. What's the matter? Something on your mind? Yeah, I thought that Ted Heyman would help us out with an advance on the next crop. But he's strapped on himself this year. Ah, uh, don't worry about anything. Your troubles are over. We're going to open a gas station. Gas station? Sure. How'd you happen to think of that? Well, um, uh, statistics. You know, there isn't a gas station on our road 42 miles one way and 28 the other. Well, have you any idea what a gas station would cost? Oh, <laughs> I looked into that. Well, you hear about the big fight they're having at the Legion Stadium in a couple of weeks? About the palooka that's offering $500 a round for anybody that will stick with them for more than two rounds? Yeah, I read something about it. Well, I'm going in there and fight them. All I have to do is stand on my feet for four rounds. Four times 500, that's 2,000 bucks. What's well, in the bag? Oh, but Jack, you're crazy. Why, he's a professional fighter. You, you'd get badly hurt. Why, gee, anybody who'd stand up against a fighter like that would be a... A sucker? Yeah, a sucker. And if I did get hurt, would it matter much to you? Yes, Jack, it would. Lots. That's all I want to know. If you're rooting for me, I'll go in there and bang the ears off the biggest guy in the world. Come on, keep on. Come on, on. Man, what Come on. Man, what on. Man, what I don't want to get a fight. I don't want to get a fight. Come on, 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 Ah, what do you know about it? Plenty, you big, fat, clumsy <laughs> lummox. How's your wind? My wind, oh, it's all right. Ah, well, I'll find out about that later. Go on, now. Hit it. Don't make love to it. Hit it, I tell you. That's it. Working hard? Yeah, I kind of like it. Well, you blow pay. I wish you women would stop aggravating a champ while he's working out. Mind your own business, will you? That is my business, training a champ. Your business? Since when are you training him? Come on, Jack. About three more minutes and we'll break. Now, let's uh, yeah, right. Jack, come on, like I said before. By a waterfall, I'm calling. <laughs> By a waterfall. Hey, hurry up with that water, will you guys? Take it easy, Caruso. You'll last longer. How's the water, Jack? How'd you get it? By a waterfall, I'm calling. <laughs> Big fellas, get a load of this, will you? What do you got, kid? Well, just won three bucks. What do you mean you just won three bucks? The amateur picture contest in the Salt Lake Times. Here's the three bucks if you don't believe me. Well, come on, show us the uh, picture. Where is it? Right yeah, sure. Fella. Come on, get it out there. Look. Right there. What do you know about that? It's Jack. Yeah. Jackie. Hey, Jackie, look. There's your picture in the paper. That's what right. You... When did you take that? Once when you wasn't looking. I thought I told you to lay off of that stuff. What did I tell you about taking my picture? Oh, what harm did I do? I ought to flatten you for this, you double-crossing little chiseler. I'll lay you off me, will you? I didn't do nothing. I made three bucks, didn't I? Ah, uh, shut up. But look at the way he's got his right hand stuck out. So? A guy gets up out of his grave, sticks out his right hand, just so you can make the pinch and prove that all the rest of us around here are dopes. <laughs> I tell you, I've got a hunch that's Johnny Bradfield. It'll take me maybe a month to find out, but it's worth trying. Swell. Take two months. Take two years. Write us picture postcards. <laughs> Go on, laugh. Well, you'd laugh too, Phelan, if you knew how funny you were. <laughs> uh, maybe I would. Maybe I'll laugh later. These gloves used by Kid McNeil when he knocked out Sailor O'Shea. A buy at eight bucks. 
I'll bet that's Lucky Leather. Yeah, we could get him for Jack if we had $7.60 more. Yep. My aunt had worse because she'd be my yonko. <laughs> you know that's on the side. Hey, you. look over there, will you? Lamp, that's your Lucky. Will Lamp, you? what's in the jar? Wait a minute, what is guys. It? Wait a minute. I got an idea. Come on. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, it's it's a a you. Hey, what is that? It's alive. I hey, don't boy, know. Maybe some cat. Jay Douglas Williamson. Jay Douglas Williamson. Woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> And what's your name? J. Montmorency Spit Jr. Oh, yeah, who booked you get that out of, kid? Tell me something, what are you doing here? We just stopped to have a flat fixed. We shall be off as soon as Dad and Mater return from the telegraph office. Oh, it ain't gonna stay. He's breaking my heart. Hey, heart what's a Mater? A oh, Mater? That's his old lady, you dope. Don't you read any books? No. Nope. You think you're smart, don't you? They call us the six geniuses. Hey, what kind of camera is that? It's a motion picture camera. Why, so Let me see that. Wait a second. I'll give it my Yeah, yeah, I know just what you're thinking. Well, it's a cinch. Look, we got to get it honestly. See, you, Jack wouldn't like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Angel. Hey, that's a luscious picture. Hey, get a hand off that good camera. Will you, Douglas? Hey, Dougie. Hey, how do you like this video? Come on, gang. we got to get those. You want to come along, kid? Where to? Well, we're just going to play. Marbles? Marbles? That's a sissy game. We're gonna play poker. You know how to play poker? No. Oh, we could teach you how. It's very easy. We ain't got no time to learn beginners. Ah, uh, he's too young anyway. But uh, I'm 12 and I could learn. Yeah, I bet he well, could. Well, what do you say, gang? Should we let him in? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right out. That's the way. I've only got 25 cents. Oh, that's okay, kid. You don't need no dough to play strip poker. What strip poker? Well, I'll take it to you. Give me some cards, Richard. Give us a couple of strips. Oh, quiet. Oh, quiet. My God. I got six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Isn't that any good? No. No, keep the ten, see? We'll try to draw something better. Hey, Dippy, four cards for Douglas Jr. Give me three. Is that any good? Well, it's between you and Angel now. What do you got, Angel? I got a pair of sevens. Oh, but mine are all the same suit. Yeah, yeah, they are, but there ain't a pair in a bunch. Angel's pair of sevens wins. Oh, I see now. You've got to have pairs. Oh, you'll catch on to this. Yep, Douglas Jr., now you can take off the Colton belt. Oh, you mean I lose that? Well, you don't win. Well, maybe you win it back next time. Sure, it's pretty uh, easy. Just, just, just put it over there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't get it over there. get to come oh, back. Right. I'm in a little hand later. <laughs> hey, come hey, on. Hurry up. 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 That's all right, I'm, 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 I'm taking three. I got him. Well, what do you got, Tommy? Oh, just a measly pair of twos. I win, don't I? No. He's got twos. You only got ones. I see. Thanks for the lick. Get, get your oh, mitts. Oh, oh, you oh, 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 You're winning already. Oh, now, that didn't take long, did it, darling? Douglas! Why, what has happened? I said I was 100% okay. I hit the scale of 153. Let me tell you something. If I get in that ring first, you'll never get a whack at that guy. I wish I felt that way about it. <laughs> Funny what us guys will do for money, isn't it? Hey, wait a minute. What are you fighting for? My wife's gonna have a kid. Yeah? Tough <laughs> fracking, ain't it? Well, good luck. Thanks. Got any good seats left for tomorrow night? Yeah, I have a few left. Where are they? How near do you want them? As close as I can get. Well, how about a ringside? Fine. Say, this guy, Jack Dorney, is he a southpaw? 
You can search me, mister. That'll be 3.30, please. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you think we need some more creep? No, we don't need no more creep. Yes, sir, you're a dead pigeon. Water, water everywhere. Hey, Pat! He passed! He passed! He passed the medical day, James! Pat's a fire collar! He said he passed! How do you know? Cy Kimball just told me, just drove by in his truck. And he said that the doctor said that if Jack was any health, they couldn't live. Oh, 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 Champ, on behalf of the gang and myself and Grandma and Peggy, we take this occasion on the eve of the big fight to present you with this little token of our esteem. Look, uh, I'm sorry I did this. You see, uh, I can't fight. Doc turned me down there. Uh, something the matter with my ticker. Come on, boys. you're lying, Jack. Who, me? You passed that medical examination. Listen, Peggy, I told you, the doctor said that... Uh... Cy Kimball was here and told us what the doctor said. All right. So I'm... Um, I'm yellow. You're not that either. I'm a liar and I... I lost my nerve. Let it go at that. Jack, tell me something, will you? Were you lying to me when you told me that you loved me? No. Oh. No. Oh, what's that got to do with it? Everything. Because when you love someone, you don't lie to them. You don't hold anything back. Oh, what are you talking about? Hold what back? Listen. Listen, Jack. I love you, too. And I know you're not a queer. There's something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, something else. Something else turned up. I, I uh, heard about a swell job, see? And I was going to go... Uh, wasn't it my idea about the fight? Well, I changed my mind, see? The guy's too big, he's too tough. I'm no sucker, see? Why should I get my head knocked off when I can get the dough some other way? That's all there is to it. Leave me alone, can't you? Jack. Will you leave me alone? And he gave up. That's all. He lost his knife. Yeah, they get that way sometimes. Not if they got what it takes. Yo, Moxie. Yo, Moxie. Boy, is that guy chicken. Shut up. Jack ain't afraid of nobody, see? Oh, no. Jack ain't afraid. Not much he ain't. Shut up. Uh, I'll leave the kid alone. Sure he's afraid. Quit like a yellow dog. What a slug. Blaming it on his ticker.
Jack. Going away, Jack? Why? Nothing. If you are, what? What I said about going with you still goes. Forget it, kid. Nobody goes with me. I just thought that maybe... I don't need nobody. I... I travel alone. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Jack. It don't make no difference to me what the kids and the women say. I know you ain't afraid of that guy. No, I ain't afraid of him. You ain't afraid of anybody. I know that. Shut up. Stop talking about it. Don't get excited, Jack. What I wanted to say was that if you made up your mind... You yeah, I made up my mind. Well, you must have your reasons. Sure, I got my reasons. It's okay if that's how you feel about it. What I'm trying to tell you is that I'm with you if you want to take me. Ah, uh, who's gone away? You ain't going? I'm gonna stay right here. You're gonna fight? What do you think? It was a rib. It was a rib. I knew it was all the time. Boy, wait till I tell the guys. Atta boy, you tell them. Tell them all. What do you say, Father? Suppose that Dick didn't see no South Point on me. He wouldn't be so sure was Johnny Bradfield, would he? of anybody. Oh, no, boy. Hey, take it easy, will you? Yeah. He's only kidding. He's just a big baby, that's all. Hey, you, come here. What's your weight? 153. 153? Get your smeary hands off me. I know that racket. Oh, you're a fighter, eh? Ah, uh, I'm no fighter. Oh, what'd you come up here to fight me for? I seen your picture in the paper, and I couldn't wait to get you alone. Oh, oh, oh yeah? Let's go with yeah, it. Yeah, come here. Cut it out. What's the matter with Cut you guys? Cut the clown. I'll take enough. him first. Go on, get him out of here. Take care of him. Are you crazy? Oh, that guy will cut you to pieces in one round. That's what you think. All set. Everybody. 
swell. Ah, oh, not you, kid. He changed his mind. Come on, Colucci, hurry up. They're waiting on you. I can't, John. He's trying to get my goat. Soften him up for me, kid. Come on, Lynch. We're going to need you up there. He's making me wait, too. Sure, he's afraid of you. Think so? Really? Sure. I'll box his ears off you. Come on, sit down. Will you relax? What's the matter? You worried about the wife? I'll stay in there till I get that hospital bill paid or I'll... Go on, sit down. Will you? Buck up, buck up. I wonder how Colucci's doing. We'll find out pretty soon. Well, the bull ain't afraid of fellas like him. He ain't afraid of hitters. He's afraid of boxers. Sure. Don't let him worry you, kid. <laughs> oh, he ain't worried me. What's that? It must be Colucci. Think so? Sure. See? See? That's what he gets for coming in. He should stay away from him. That's what I'm gonna do. Unless you take him first. Hey, you wanna let him come into you. Hey, box him. Box him. Spare him. Spare him going away. That's what I'm gonna do. Box his ears off. Unless you take him first. Thanks, yeah. coming up. Where's, where's Colucci? Just took him away. No, I'm busting up. You see? You see? That's what he gets for coming in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, not you, kid. I want Smith. Who? Me? Still trying to get my goat, huh? All set, kid? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> no, I, I've only got one hand bandage. Okay, we'll take the other one in the ring. Come on. Well, you're all right now, aren't you, Dorney? Are you turning chicken? Me? I'll box his ears off. His ears are upstairs. Come on. Good luck, kid. Right to the jaw, a left to the face, boy, is he a killer. Is he murderous? The bull lands a terrific right to Smith's jaw, and Smith is down. It is better Smith if he stays down, because this is downright murder. Smith's face is red pulp, red, red pulp. Eight, nine, ten, and Smith's out. Whew, am I glad that's over. Now the next fighter to meet the bull is Jack Dorney. Show that big gorilla. Oh, I don't know, Grammy's awful tough. Well, that's all, Jack. Didn't I train him myself? Lay it into him, Jack. Lay it in. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Oh, Jack will knock his ears back for him. Huh. Hey, 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 Johnny! Hey, there's a guy down there calling you, kid. Yeah. How are you, Johnny? Know him? Uh, never seen him before in my life. No low blows, no holding and hitting. Shake hands now and come out to fight. Come on, Johnny. Jack will knock his ears, buddy. Huh. Right to Dorney's jaw, comes through with the left of the jaw, and another hard right to the heart. 
Him up this time, kid. Finish it. You two better just run. He ain't begun to fight. You wait. I'm waiting. I'll you. put a zipper on that I truck. Know, so She trained that oh. fool good. He's <laughs> up! He's up! But not for long. Great fellow of you if that guy don't kill you. I don't know whether I'll need a manager or not. This is only costing us fifteen hundred bucks. Do you think that's hay, you dope? Well, the bell saved him. The bell saved him. If you'd taken him in the first round, there wouldn't have been no bells. How'd you like to fight? If this goes one more round, you'll pay, sweetheart, not me. Ah. Uh... Jack! You're standing wrong! But he falls all right. You ain't gonna let that big palooka lick ya. Are you, Johnny? Come on, quit hey. stalling. Stick out that right and sink hey. that left. I know who you are, Southpaw. You ain't Five. sure. Six. Still need some more. Go on, scrap, scrap. But Jack, you're off. Get it hard on the left. Hey, take a whip for this.
think, Doc. Well, he took a pretty bad beating, but he'll come out of it all right. Jack! Oh. Jack, are you all right? How is he, Doc? Oh, Just about the same. Oh, Jack, get up. Do you hear? Get up! Did you try vinegar? We've done all we can for him. Well, you ain't going to do much with that silly little tin ear trumpet, you know. Oh, Jack, come out of it, please. Oh, Jackie. Jackie, come out of it. You're all right. Listen, oh, he did it all for us. He went off and got himself killed just for us. Oh, Jackie, it's all right, dear. We got the money. Oh, my head. How are you, Johnny? Jack's the name. Who's he? Uh, just a friend of mine. Oh, boy. You fought a good fight, you know, you did. Oh, hey, give me one, Jack! He never went out of the He never went out of the Jack, he never went out the door. Yeah, so I says, who's got a better right in there but his brothers? How you feeling, Jack? I feel oh. fine. <laughs> yeah, what did I tell you? Just a little winded, that's all. Give him another chance with that gorilla and he'd take him, wouldn't you, Jack? Hey, I know. I know. I I gotta go now. Go? I mean, uh, I, I, I gotta get dressed. Come on now, boys. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, okay. well, sit down. Take it easy. Yeah. 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 But I'm a real good party. See you at the ranch, Jack. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'll wait outside for you, dear. All right. You're all right. Come on, get dressed. I'll be right with you, Phelan. Jack, are you all right now? I'm fine, I'm fine. Will you wait just a second, Phelan? i got to tell Peggy something. All right, I get snappy. Come on, uh, I want to talk to you, Peggy. No kidding. He's booked a couple of fights for me back east. He's my manager. That's all there is to it, honest. You're lying to me, aren't you, Jack? No, no. He's lying to me, is he? Tell me the truth. No, honest, I'm not. He's my manager, aren't you? Sure, I'm his manager. You see, he's gonna take me back east, and he's got a lot of bots lined up for me. I'm gonna pick up some easy cash, then I'm gonna come right back to you. Honest, I am. In about ten years. Uh, he's just clowning, that's all. That's all he ever does. Anything for a gag. Maybe if he behaves himself real good, you'll see him sooner. Now, uh, you know, he wants me to go on a barnstorming tour, you know, one-night stands and things like that, but none of that for me. I'm coming right back to you. I'm going with you. No, no, you can't. Yes. No, you can't because, because, well, this is a stag, huh? We're going stag, aren't we, Phelan? Huh? Yeah, no women. There's something wrong, Jack. What is it? Tell me, please. Oh, there's nothing wrong. I I'm coming right back to you. I swear I am. I don't care if you've done anything wrong, honey. I'm, I'm sticking with you. You gotta stick with Grandma and the kids. Come on, son. We gotta get going. I won't go to the station with you, Jack. If, if you'll just kiss me once and then go quickly. Because if you don't, I'm gonna make an awful mess of it. You know, Phelan, you would have made a great detective if you had started sooner. Well, I'm not complaining. Done all right today, I'm not. Sure, sure. When you get back to town, the mayor will probably give you a ride down Broadway with confetti and everything. You'll probably be a big shot in headquarters from now on. You said it. Say, kid, we got to travel together for three days. Can I depend on you? Don't worry. I won't give you any trouble. Okay. Come on, sit down. Hello, Jack. What do you mean, hello? Go on home. Going away? Now go on, beat it, kid. We don't need you around here. Who's talking to you? Hey, would you let me come with you? I told you to go home. Yeah, but won't you take me with you? I told you to go home. Mr. Fan and I got a deal on. It's kind of private. I'd like to take you with me, but I, I, I can't. It's a big deal. Ain't it so? That's right. Now go on away, kid. You see, you got to go back and get that gas station started. You know, it was your idea.
That kid kind of thinks of the works. Yeah. He's a good kid. Well, it makes no difference to me. See? I'm a cop. I've got to do my duty. I know. Whether I like it or not. I'm not saying you don't. I'll give you one tip. What? McGee was slugged with the right hand. Yeah? Yeah. You get yourself a good lawyer, I might play that up. You being a southpaw and all that. If I get a good lawyer. Well, not that it's any business of mine. Here she is now. Now, let's go. That's a swell-looking dame you're leaving behind, kid. I feel kind of sorry for her. All right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. That guy I sent out, the guy that burned, he had a wife. When that dame said goodbye to you, she looked just like her. And her mouth all twisted up like from the hurt inside. That old lady and them kids. They sure think you're the white-haired boy, don't they? Well, and I'm going back and take whatever is coming to me. But this sort of stuff ain't included, see? Oh, I was just thinking a smart guy like you, if you hadn't laid yourself wide open for a dame and them kids, I'd never have found you. You were a terrible sucker. You telling me? But I do it again, see? Now, will you please lay off of me? I made one mistake in my life. Say, maybe I'm making another. Maybe I got the wrong guy. Maybe I... Yeah, maybe you have, wise guy. I'm not quite sure. I'll move it. Go on, kid, beat it. And say, keep that kiss of yours out of the camera. You don't photograph good. So long, Donnie! So long! Sucker. Where do you think you're going? With you. Then come on. <laughs> 